So welcome to Rafa's Garage. Today I'm working on this bad girl. Um, she's not holding charge on the battery. I had to jump start it like every time, and now uh, sometimes the stereo goes off. Uh, most likely is the alternator. I'm more than 90% sure. Um, a little pissed because just washed it today and look at it um, it sprinkled a little bit just a teeny bit but all this is ash um, there's a fire somewhere over there not that far away from here so all the ash and the water mixed and dirty my car so gotta wash it again sucks but whatever so lucky for me I got spare alternators here from all the motors I've taken off so I'm gonna slap one of those on uh, call it a day my little brother over here working on his SE hey bro what are you doing to the car I don't know where he's at. But I think he's cleaning the O2 sensors. Um, and I think he has an EGR code. So that's what he's going to work on today. So, what are you doing? See. And then he ran into a little problem with his intake. Yeah, the, the header is actually causing too much heat and melting some of that plastic underneath so get a heat shield we have from the drinker tomorrow hopefully it has a heat shield so i think one of the bolts was loose this bolt was loose and i think that's the reason why it did it um it's probably somebody that forgot whether me my little brother or my girl when we we're dropping this motor in so hopefully that's it. I'm letting it run for a little bit. Hopefully it charges the battery and it starts up again. Um, so yeah, getting ready to close up. I'm pretty sure my brother's gonna stay. He's over there struggling. So I did it again. Um, luckily I was able to borrow a tester and I'm getting 11 point three volts which is not good um, you're supposed to be uh, charging at 14.6 14.7 around there so it could keep the car up and running and charge your battery back up um, alternator is not doing this so gotta swap it out put another one luckily I have another one I'm gonna slap it on real quick and call it a day So alternator's off. This is the used one I'm gonna put in, and this is the old one. I'm just gonna swap out the the pulley right now. Um, but basically, you just got a, a screw right here, which is a size 14 in the bottom. On top, you have a size 12, size 10 right here, nut, and the plug. I also moved the uh, cruise control so you get out of the way because it was right here um, and you just disconnected a couple of plugs right here for the AC condenser and this wire moves to the side and you're able to get it out from there so that's about it uh, I'm just gonna take off oh and the belt the way you take it off is a tensioner right there uh, I think it's 17 or 19 I'm not too sure minus stripped so what I use, I use the pry bar, and I just had enough space to um, actually move the tensioner and take off the belt. So that's another way, just in case yours is stripped. Uh, it's very common on these Celicas. There's not that many much room. 
So, yeah. I just need to slap on, change the pulleys and slap it on and call it a night. Thank you.